Hi everyone, great to see you again. Uh, my name is Ollie Harding and I am a professional cooking teacher at Leicester B. Pearson School of Culinary Arts. Um, and today I would like to share with you our apple crumble muffins. Uh, the reason we've chosen this recipe is because at the moment we're celebrating our 25th anniversary of Pearson School of Culinary Arts and we've decided to put together a cookbook to share with all of you. And this is one of the recipes. This was chosen by one of our chef instructors, Chef Donna. I'm very happy to share it with you guys today. It's a, it's a great muffin. So first things first, as always, underneath the recipe, you have a list of all the ingredients that you need. And in the way of equipment, we're gonna need a couple of mixing bowls, two spatulas, or a spatula, a wooden spoon, and a whisk. So we'll get straight into it. We're gonna start by making the topping. So we're gonna add the brown sugar, our oats, these are large oats that I've used here. It's gonna give it a little bit more texture. All-purpose flour. Some cinnamon. And then some melted butter. I'm using unsalted. And we're gonna take a little spoon and we're just gonna combine all these ingredients together gently. And we're looking, this is, this is the topping, so this is the crumble topping. So we're looking for that crumble texture. If you like, you can get your hands in there. I'm just folding it around to incorporate all the flour. Cutting it a little bit as well. We want some of these big pieces in here, like pebbles of, of crumble. They're gonna cook in the oven, they're gonna get really nice and crunchy. So two, it's just combined, if you want to come and have a little look. And you can see what I mean by pebbles. There are some nice chunks there. So that's that. That's the first step. This we're just going to put to one side. We don't need to worry about that for a minute. And we're going to move on to the second step. So in a large mixing bowl, we're going to take our brown sugar. Canola oil, another other essence, and one large whole egg straight into the middle. If you like, you can crack it into a bowl first, the egg, and then making sure there's no shell and crack it straight into a bowl after. So with a whisk, just gonna combine these ingredients it doesn't take long when you're using soft brown sugar to get rid of the, the granular bits. As you're mixing, you'll, it'll stop sound, sounding like that sand on sand, and there will be no more single grains. So if you want to come and have a look, see it's nice and smooth. The sugar has been incorporated with the fat. Again, this we're going to put to one side. Now for the final mixing, I'm going to take the whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour, and I'm just going to put them in here over a sieve. Like that. And then in here I have the uh, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. The salt's very fine, so it will go through the sieve. Um, if you were using a coarser salt, you would just put it in the bowl afterwards. And just tap that through. The reason we do this is because we don't want any little lumps of cinnamon because it's been in the cupboard for a little bit, or any lumps of uh, dried flour. Just gonna make sure it's a nice, smooth texture afterwards. So we have our dry ingredients here. We're gonna bring back the large bowl with our oil, sugar, an egg, I'm gonna have the topping. And what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna add a third of the dry ingredients. Like that, take out my whisk. And then I'm gonna fold this very gently. And then when that's nearly incorporated, I'm gonna add a third of my buttermilk. And then again, just folding it through. And 
And then once that's nearly all incorporated, we're going to add the second third of flour. We don't want to overwork this mixture. A bit more flour. It's starting to smell really nice already, the cinnamon uh, with the melted butter. This recipe is a real crowd pleaser. I'm actually very happy that Chef, John, uh, Chef Donna sorry, decided to choose this recipe. Another third of the milk, buttermilk. And then now I'm going to add the rest of the flour. All of the buttermilk, get this out of the way. And then we'll continue folding that. It really does smell like um, those flavours of apple crumble. So this is just about all mixed together. I've taken some apple, I've diced it as it says in the recipe. Um, so I'm going to add that into the mixture now. And then to make sure the apple is nicely incorporated. So our mixture is ready, it's everything's mixed together. I've already taken my muffin tray and lined it with um, muffin cups. And I'm gonna take two spoons, two large tablespoons. And I just have a little bit of water in the, the bottom of the bowl, cold water. This is just gonna help for the mixture to come off the spoons so it's not gonna be a sticky mess everywhere. So we wanna fill 12 of these up. Okay, so if you want to uh, come closer and have a look, all of our muffin cups have been um, filled up um, halfway to what these ones are. And then now with nice clean hands, make sure your hands are clean, we're going to divide this mixture, the crumble, between the 12 muffins. We don't want to pack it down, we just want to sprinkle it on. And with the large pebbles I was talking about, you really want to make sure that you at least have a couple of those on each one. And then we want to use all of this topping on it. So don't be shy, we're going to be nice and generous with it. Okay, so if you want to have a little look again, come close and have a, have a look to see how full they are. So what we need to do now, we're going to put them in the oven. I had forgotten to mention at the beginning of the video, it's written on the recipe. The first thing we want to do is turn our oven uh, onto 325 degrees. Uh, we always want to preheat our ovens. Um, so this is going into the oven. I'm going to check in 25 minutes. Okay, so let's take them out of the oven. Oh, that smells lovely. Cinnamon. You can smell the apples too. It smells just like apple crumble just in muffin form. So I put mine in for 25 minutes. I took them out with a toothpick. I just inserted it into the center. When I pulled it out, there was a little bit of raw dough on the tip. So I put them back in for another five minutes. So a total of 30 minutes cooking time. Um, and that's it. There we have our apple crumble muffins. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks to Chef Donna for choosing um, this recipe to be in the cookbook. Um, and that's it. If you guys do decide to make these, uh, tag us, let us know what you think. Um, you won't be disappointed. It's a really great recipe. Um, happy cooking. Take care and be safe.